The Commanders will have it second down. He didn't quite get the first down, so second and one from the Atlanta two. They can get a first down at the one. Two receivers break out left and a single receiver right. Tight end right is Logan Thomas. Powell out of the gun. Hands it off. Brian Robinson. I don't think he got the touchdown, but he got the first down. So first and goal there. Third and two for Cincinnati. Handoff. And this is going to be Mixon for a first down. First and goal commanders from the Atlanta one. Trailing seven to three. 12 minutes to go in the half. Brian Robinson will be the tailback for Sam Howell. Shotgun set for Joe Burrow. And Howell under center. And they fake the handoff. Now they're going to throw in the, in the right flat. Antonio Gibson catches the touchdown. Second down and seven for the Dolphins from the Carolina 17. They went out of the gun. Three receivers up to the left. Tua takes a snap. Looking left. Now he'll throw left. Pass is caught. Five and down to the four-yard line. And that's Jalen Waddell. First and goal. Miami from the Carolina four. And Debo Samuel. This is a third down and 13 for Brock Purdy and the Niners. Empty backfield. Three receivers left. Two right. Ball on the right hash. Purdy out of the gun. Takes the snap. He'll throw. Pressure coming. Now he'll launch it deep. And he's got a man and incomplete. He wanted IU incomplete. First and goal, Miami. It's coming. Handoff. Ahmed. And Ahmed, about a yard, maybe two. Here's an update from Minnesota. 3-3. Three, three. Cousins, play action. He'll throw. Captain Kirk. And got his man. And that's K.J. Osborne around midfield. Around the 47-48 yard line. So move the sticks for the Vikings. Second and go coming for Miami from the Carolina three. Two receivers right and one left. Tua, motions is tight end. Tua, he'll throw, looking left, comes back right, pass caught, Mostert hits a block and strolls in untouched. Raheem Mostert got a block from the tight end Durham Smythe on the swing pass and the first touchdown of the day for Miami with 11-13 to play in the quarter. 14-6, Carolina in front. Joseph, 51 yards from the right hash, kicking back to his left. Snap is there, hold is good, and the kick curling in. It rode the right upright, but then curled into the middle of the uprights and the 6-3 lead for Minnesota. Houston will send out Ka Kaimi Fairbairn to try and put them up 10-7. Good defense there by Tyron Matthew. Fairbairn from the right hash, kicking back to his left. 24 yards. Snap is back. Hold is down. Kick is good. And the Texans take a 10-7 lead. Ball at the Atlanta 7 or 8 for the Commanders first in goal, Washington. Five and a half minutes to play in the half. Commanders 10 and Atlanta 7. Ball on the left hash. Three receivers right. Brian Robinson in the shotgun with Sam Howell. Howell takes the snap. He's got time. Over the middle. Pass is caught. Touchdown, Curtis Samuel. Purdy throwing. Pass caught and not a first down for McCaffrey. Juan Thornhill stopped the running back before the first down. And the Niners will go for a field goal. So Jake Moody, who missed from 54 yards, has this one from about 25 yards. He'll kick back to his left from the right hash. Snap is there. Hold is down. Kick is good. And that does make it 10-0 Niners with 7.54 to play in the half. Trevor Lawrence on a third and four. He'll throw. Pressure coming. And he is engulfed. DeForest Buckner, I think, was the man who made the sack. First and goal, Miami. Tyreek Hill wide right. That is Jalen Waddle in motion from left to right. Handoff. Moster out of one tackle to the five and down around the four. Carolina 14, Miami 7. Second and goal for Miami from the Carolina four. Jalen Waddle and Tyreek Hill break out wide right. Two tight ends in the game. Durham Smythe in motion. Tua pulling out left. He can run it if he wants. Now he'll throw back to the end zone. Caught! And that is Waddle. Jalen Waddle with the touchdown. Tua finds his Alabama teammate. And the Dolphins are back in the end zone and an extra point away from tying the game up. Update from Jacksonville. Gardner Minshew. Empty backfield. Drops the throw. Looking. And got his man. 40. 45. Midfield. Jonathan Taylor at the 40. 35. And finally ran out at the 30. Andre Sisco finally got him out of bounds. Second and 10 from the 30. Minshew's throwing. Minshew with time and intercepted. Oh, and it's Cisco. Andre Cisco, who saved the touchdown, gets the interception. Third and goal for C.J. Stroud in Houston. Empty backfield. Three receivers right. Ball on the left hash. Takes the snap. C.J. looking left. Comes back middle. Pass on. Touchdown. Robert Woods puts the Texans up 16-7 to as Cleveland will be stopped short and it'll be fourth down. And decision time. 
for Cleveland, you figure they gotta go for it. It's actually third and one, not fourth and one. I beg your pardon. B.J. Walker, not in the game. It's a trick play. Pitch, Kareem Hunt. 15, 10, 5, touchdown, Cleveland. They lined the tight end up under center to take the snap, and he pitched it out to Kareem Hunt, and Kareem goes for the touchdown from 16 yards out to put the Browns on the scoreboard and get them right back into the game. What a play call by Kevin Stefanski, and what a run by Kareem Hunt, and also great blocking by his O-line. Kirk Cousins throwing on third down. Kirk, oh, he had the ball hit out of his hands, intercepted! It was going to be a fumble either way, but it'll be a pick for the Chicago defense. The interception made by Noah Sewell. Here's young Way Koo from 47 yards. Kicking back to his right from the left hatch to make it 17-10. Snap his back, hold his hair, and kick is good. Boy, it rode the left upright, but it goes in, and it's 17-10. Washington in front. They'll get the ball back with 131 to play before half. Two receivers right and left. Lawrence, empty backfield, takes the snap, looking left. Throws it, got a man wide open, and a touchdown! It's Christian Kirk on the slot fade. Wide open and touchdown for the Jaguars. Kirk found himself all alone and makes it 20 to 3 for Jacksonville with 140 to play in the half. Pick up the Chicago drive after the turnover. Jay Douglas here with you in week six of the NFL. Justin Fields waits for the snap. There it is. He's looking, looking right. He'll throw it right. His arm was hit and it's going to be intercepted. Intercepted by one of the linebackers. 20. And around the 23-24 yard line, the interception made by either Jordan, it is Jordan Hicks. I couldn't tell it was 58 or 56, but it is number 58, Jordan Hicks, on the deflection. And with 147 to play in the half, the Vikings turn the Bears away, and they will get the ball back. Third and six for Miami. Three receivers left and one right. Tyreek Hill wide right. Tua will throw. Tua looking deep right side for the cheetah, and he's got the cheetah. Tyreek Hill, touchdown. They had him in single coverage, and single coverage on the cheetah. That just will not work. Tyreek Hill with the bomb on the go ball, 20-14. to 14. Oh, that poor corner. you got to give help to Tyreek Hill. You cannot have him in single coverage one-on-one -on -one with a DB. That is a losing battle all day. Update from Atlanta. Sam Howell, he's sacked on the play. And Calais Campbell has his 100th career sack in the NFL. And he hits the dirty bird. He hits the dirty bird with a minute to play in the house. What a job by Calais Campbell. What a career he has had. Surely to get a Hall of Fame jacket and bust when it's all said and done. 48-yard field goal from the right hash for New Orleans. Kicking back to his left. Snap his back, hold his there, kick is good, and it's 17-10, so New Orleans on the board at halftime. So no timeouts for Minnesota. you got to use a sideline or go to the end zone. Second and three. Probably got two plays. The line of scrimmage is the Chicago 10. Two receivers right, one left. Hawkins and tight end right. Cousins throwing. Captain Kirk to the end zone. Caught! Jordan Addison found a hole in the secondary and catches the touchdown to put the Vikings up with the first touchdown of the game, 12-6 to with 12 seconds. Good job by Kirk Cousins to get the ball out and find Addison in the end zone, and the Vikings will take a lead heading in the locker room. Indy got a drive together at the end of the half, 56 yarder for Matt Gay, and it looks good right down the middle. Plenty of leg for Matt Gay, 56 yards to give the Colts a 21-6 deficit. Now, Greg Joseph, he had the extra point block. Here's the field goal attempt for Eddie Pinheiro. Pinheiro will kick it from the right hash. He'll kick back to his left. Two seconds in the half. We'll see if Mike McDaniel decides to use a timeout. 43-yarder. Snap his back. Hold his there. Kick is leaking right. No good. The Panthers cannot inch closer. The score remains 21-14.